these two would be my top. That last painting I did in color was just a complete failure. And so I have this canvas here. I'm going to be um, painting with some, I went and bought some cheap acrylic paint, or nothing special. And uh, I got multiple colors. I'm going to create something on this piece. It's strictly only going to be a paint. No, I'm not going to put anything else on there um, because I really, in my mind, the last one I did, I did not, I was not very happy with it. And so I need to be happy with whatever I create on this piece today. This is what I've made a quick rough draft of. And so this is what I'm going to be attempting to paint. I'm currently going over all the pencil lines because when I pass this gray through here, um, it hit the pencil lines fairly well. And so uh, obviously if I pass gray through the entire thing, then I won't be able to see what, I'm, uh, what I've originally drawn out. And so I'm going to, as well as I'm finishing up right now, I'm just going to lay this black down and uh, then pass the gray on there so that uh, I don't lose everything that I've already done. Okay, so I believe I have it to where I want it. Um, one thing that I didn't mention is that to get it to be this thin or to thin acrylic paint, uh, I use water. And basically I just put some water here, mix the color up and then uh, keep uh, mixing it up until it's fairly thin. Afterwards, I just kind of wipe most of it off right here. And then I go through and just kind of uh, run my paintbrush through. Doing it that way, um, you only kind of leave a nice clean uh, covering of the paint. You don't, you're not like pasting over it uh, because the acrylic is extremely thick. If I was to run even just gray through here on its own, it would cover this entire uh, piece up. Uh, now what I'm doing is I'm doing kind of the same concept where I am getting some uh, diluted paint with water and I also have this dry brush here and what I'm doing is I'm doing this to get this effect that I have on the edges. So dry brush, man, those hairs are like coming off. Anyway, um, and then this is just really diluted uh, black paint. I don't think I did that enough there. I think you need to go more like that. The good thing is if you don't get it the right way that you want it the first time, you can always do it again. Uh, just paint it with gray and start all over again. But that's obviously not what I want to do. I've made a little bit of progress, uh, but I did not record it. Here, let me actually grab my camera real quick. So this is, I, I made this piece here or this portion here. And uh, basically it was the same way that I did this where I put some, uh, I thinned down the paint, thin, thinned out, I can't even talk, thinned out the paint and then used uh, a dry paintbrush and just made the streaks. This time though, I used this dry paintbrush to make the streaks, this thinner one to uh, apply the, uh, the actual paint. And I've also colored the eyes white. Uh, I really want the eyes to stand out as much as possible. And so that's, I'm going that route and we'll see what that ends up looking like as uh, I start to fill in the piece a little more. Um, one thing I have to still do is I have to mix the reds. I kind of want to start from the center and then go outward. And so I need to make uh, mix the reds and I want the heart to look, even though this is very cartoonish, I want the heart to still look somewhat realistic. 
and so I need three different reds. I need probably a fairly light red, uh, somewhat of a medium tone red, and then I need to make mix a very dark red. So uh, the first thing is that I want to kind of get red, a dark red around like here and a pretty good glob right around here and then come back this way. I need to probably clean my paint, paintbrush. The last bit of color that was used on there was black, but there we go. Okay. So let's see if I can't mix a fairly dark red here and then a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of dark red up around here somewhere. I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply some for the darker areas. So I think probably like coming something like that. And I wanna be careful. I don't wanna cover up the veins completely. Um, I can retouch them and I can go back through them again, but I definitely don't want to just cover them up. I want to make this somewhat a little bit bigger because uh, the area is a little bit bigger because when I do make the, the lighter colors, I will be coming in and I will be fading into it into this, this dark red. And so I wanna make sure that I kinda of have room to work with. Okay. And so I just need to do the top as well. And that is what I've got right there. So there's not really any rhyme or reason to the, the shading. Um, it's not like, I, I obviously this is, I don't really want any light coming from any particular area. It's more so like you're just kind of looking at the image straight on. And uh, so this is what I believe I'm going to go with. I might do a couple more things to it. Uh, one thing that I am noticing right here as we look into the camera is that I need kind of more of this red. Like right along here. Okay, I think that's pretty satisfactory. Maybe, I don't know, maybe this area is just too bright. Um, regardless of, before my red dries, acrylic paint seems to dry really quickly. I'm going to get the uh, streaks of blood coming down here. I do want it to look like the picture is actually bleeding. Um, and so, or at, least, at the very least, that the heart is bleeding here. I messed around with it a little bit. And this is what I came up with. And so I kind of, I hope I don't regret this bottom part and what I did, I've done here, but uh, that's basically what it is. Uh, I just made a streak down, a straight streak down, and I kind of globbed it a little bit there. And that's how I got that effect. Down here, I was a little more cautious and I went fairly, as thin as I could, and then kind of, uh, press down a little bit harder and harder on the paintbrush till I got through that effect where it looked to be um, thicker. So that's kind of currently what it looks like. Oh, I did fill in the eyebrows. Uh, I, I'm pretty confident those are going to be black, just solid black. And so um, just did that real quick. So I've, uh, I've done its hair, its hair and I've also put some ribs on here and the chest um, area on both of them. I was going to draw clothing on them, but based on how their hair is, I think this is fine. And so what I've done here is I mix some, a little bit of water with the black color. I also mixed the brown and, uh, that's, that's how I got this to spread out the way it did. Acrylic is kind of a little difficult to fade unless you uh, thin it. And so uh, at least the acrylic I'm working with. So I, there, there might be much more expensive paints out there that will um, blend easier. But the one that I'm working with is just, uh, it's, it's a little more difficult to, uh, to get it to blend unless I thin it out. So um, I've made some shadow areas as well. 
I don't want to make it too detailed again. This is supposed to be a fairly cartoonish looking piece. And so at this point, I'm going to do the same thing to the, um, to the female's hair. Hope that's dry. I'm over here just tapping it on the canvas. Okay, so there is the black, and uh, here, let me give you a close-up of kind of how everything's looking. So um, now I'm going to apply the purple, and kind of like in the same manner over here, I'm hoping that as I blend it through, um, the dark areas here make the purple go from dark to lighter, um, to a lighter color, but we'll see what it ends up doing. Um, I kind of want the purple to be a two-tone, and so I'm hoping that the black blends in with it. So I put the highlights of the white here so I could uh, accent them a little bit more. I, they just didn't have enough going on. And I might still put some more white like in between the, the stitches or whatnot down here. So, but I'm debating on whether I should do this splatter that I got going on down at the bottom everywhere and then do something else. I did want to do like the blood dripping in more areas and I and just kind of randomly, I didn't want it to just be off of a specific item. So, and then I probably want to add a few more characteristics to the face. So I might do something like her eye bleeding and then his mouth bleeding or something like that. Doing the blood on their face and stuff. I'm being extremely precise. Um, this is the thinnest paintbrush I've got, or the pointiest, I don't know how you want to, how I would, I guess, say that, but it's, uh, I'm having to be extremely, extremely light on how I'm putting the paintbrush down. And also, um, when I'm following the streak, it's just, it has to be so gentle. Kind of like that and I'm having to dip into the paint pretty frequently to make sure that yeah, I'm only getting the tip of the paintbrush uh, kind of coming to a point like that that way I can get that type of effect there So about like that, and then now I just gotta make it a drip. Oh, I probably shouldn't have touched that again. I just made it super thick, or thicker than I... And I guess that's still okay. And so I just got to do a, a bit more on, uh, probably on him. I got to do some on him. And then I don't know if I'm going to do some on her mouth and everything like that. All right. So I believe everything is drawn that I want to be on there. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to splatter. Um, I've already splattered a little bit of the red paint, but I just need to do a couple of splatters of the black paint. And so... But basically how I'm doing that is uh, I'm making sure it's somewhat watered down so it's not so thick. And I'm taking kind of a glob like that on my, uh, on my paintbrush. And then just kind of hitting it like so. And I 
think I'm good with that. Um, maybe just more right here along the center. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to seal it. Uh, technically, I, I could spray it with the, the sealer that I use for my other paintings, which is, let me grab that. This right here. Um, because it's been, because I've uh, got it to the point where I've thinned a lot of the paint down, um, it would be a good idea, but uh, we'll see. If, uh, we'll see what I end up deciding. One thing I did notice is that from the splatters, I got a drop right here and a drop right here on her nose. I'm probably gonna just clear that up really fast. I'm just gonna mix some gray paint and put gray back in there, and then put the red back on there as well. Um, over here, just some gray there, and so that uh, so that you can still see the the stitches or yeah, I guess stitches uh, fairly clear here and you can still see her nose very clear there. Everything else where the splatters landed, is, they seem to be fine. So uh, I think uh, aside from that, from making those two changes, I think this piece is pretty much done. It's definitely not this piece that I made a very long time ago, but you know, it's, I'm pretty content with it for it being an odd, uh, dark drawing, I feel it really met uh, those expectations, I guess.